Um, you know, good good win. I mean, was it pretty? No. Um, you know, sometimes that happens when, you know, maybe you had a couple that haven't gone your way. and I, I didn't think it was an effort thing at all. I mean, you look at the first half, and I, mean, I don't know if I've ever seen that. We fouled three three-point shooters. Uh, that's eight points. And then some of the passes uh, we were making, I don't know, it was like being in the twilight zone there. Uh, um, for a second, and, and that really hasn't been us all year. And I, I don't know what that was from. Again, I, I don't think that was a, um, a lack of intensity. I mean, our primary focus was, I thought, defense and practice. But I thought the guys played pretty hard. But then what happens is you foul three-point shooters, um, you turn it over live ball, and now all of a sudden guys get hot from the free throw line, get a little bit of confidence. Now you got a real problem on your hands, you know. And a guy like Seneca Knight, who's been scoring at a high level, you know, he gets going and. He made some tough shots, obviously, in the, in the first half, a lot of shots off the dribble, but that's what he can do. And, you know, so I thought that allowed them to have some confidence. But I, I thought, you know, we went in there at halftime. We talked about, hey, we've got a little bit of adversity. We tried to learn from it, build on it. And I thought, you know, I look at the stats. I mean, clearly I thought our half-court defense in the second half was good. Um, we weren't in a great rhythm on offense uh, most of the night, but we won it tonight, I thought, with defense, and we finally took care of the ball and just made enough plays. Seneca didn't make a field goal in the second half until the final man there. Did you guys change much, or is it just better executed? Um, a little bit, I just keep, but, you know, I, I thought, too, um, and I can't remember, um, was he got fouled on one of the three-point shots or whatever. I thought we were a little bit more maybe aggressive with our hands on the ball screen, maybe a little bit more, you know, attention to detail, but it wasn't anything that we changed. Maybe just executed a little bit better. Um, but, you know, sometimes you make tough shots, and eventually, you know, you don't keep making tough shots either. But, but I, I thought our team defense all the way around was a little bit more connected, you know, in the second half. And so I was happy to see us win the game that way because clearly that's what it was going to be tonight. You know, we just couldn't string. I thought we missed a lot of bunnies in the paint, a lot of opportunities where we had to kind of make a run and, and stretch it a little bit, and we just couldn't do it. And you got to give that team credit. In both halves, uh, it seemed like the bench, especially Deshaun, came in and played you know, pretty well and kind of sparked you guys. And sort of in a little funk. And what did you see from Deshaun especially? Yeah, I mean, I thought Deshaun was really good enough. But I, I thought when we subbed the, in the first, the first time we put the bench in, I thought those guys played with really good energy, especially on defense. I mean, I thought those guys were really playing hard. And, and that's what we want to see. It wasn't perfect, but I thought they played hard. DT got himself going a little bit, which I thought was, was awesome to see. And um, again, I thought in the second half, I thought Chris Martin was just awesome. You know, uh, defensively, I thought his energy was terrific. He's been that way in practice, and I thought that was really the catalyst here. Coach, you brought up silly mistakes. It's been a couple slow starts and silly mistakes lately. How much harder does that make it when you're almost starting behind the eight? I think it makes it harder, but again, I didn't, this is just me. I didn't think the slow start was like intensity. Like I, I didn't think it was like, oh, we weren't ready to play. I mean, I thought it was that. I thought it was just the, just some slide. Again, we fouled three three point shooters, you know. And it's like sometimes you're you're getting a little too hyped up, you know. Here's a guy open, and we hit a guy on the head. Like we shot that. Again, I don't know if I, that I've seen that. And I thought that gave him confidence. And I don't know what to attribute the just throwing it out of bounds to. Um, I, I don't think we've been that way, you know, all year. But. It's funny. I mean, sometimes games just go, they just go a certain way, and you got to find different ways to win. And um, clearly, we didn't have, you know, have it going on both ends the way that we wanted. But you know what? Um, we found a way to get the job done. You know, Coach, this team, too, if you're looking at the record, you know, obviously you guys would be the favorite coming into this game. But could you kind of talk about, you know, the hard work and persistency of the other team, too? I mean, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's a great point. point. I mean, like, one thing I give them a lot of credit for, you know, that, that when we played them the first time at their place, I think they had just come off a win. They had beaten New Mexico at home. Uh, um, they had beaten Nevada at home. Um, you know, they, 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 they're an aggressive team. I mean, they're in a team that's going to play aggressive. They're going to come at you. They crash the offensive glass. And again, I thought, you know, to their credit, but I thought the eight points on the free th on, on, on following three point shooters I thought was absolutely critical. And then you compound that with some sloppy turnovers, and then they get some confidence, right? And Seneca Knight's a guy who can put the ball in the basket, and he gets going. I didn't even realize he had 26 until halftime. I mean, holy cow. Uh, um, you know, but I, again, I, I didn't think it was effort. I thought our guys responded really, really well and played hard. I think the, 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 the numbers kind of proved that out on the defensive end, and particularly in the second half. And that was just one of those games we're going to have to grind out. San Diego State coming up this week, and then the tournament is you know fast approaching too. How much, if anything, do you feel like maybe needs to change to avoid these slow starts? I mean, is it just the flow of the season? 
I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, again, I thought we practiced terrific. I thought we played hard early in the game. I mean, that's me. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Um, if I look back on, on the play, I don't know what it was. We run a play, first play of the game. I thought David just kind of lost the ball going up. You know what I mean? A layup, and you're like, that's a play he's going to make nine times out of ten. thought we had some other plays that way where we just, you know what I mean, for whatever reason, got a sink. But I didn't think it was attention to focus. And, again, we fouled the three-point shoot. But you're right. Hopefully you got to start better. you got to play for 40 minutes. Um, but I thought our guys' mindset was really good in practice the last two days. And, and hey, you can't complain too much about a win. I mean, I guess it's good when, when, when you win and people are like, well, you know, but maybe you didn't win enough by enough. You know what I mean? That's a great problem to have on uh, knowing where we're at right now. Kind of going off of that, I guess, you know, one perspective when you look at it is these, you're having these slow starts. It's late in the season. You need to get away from them. The other, you know, the other side would be you had these slow starts but still found a way to win the game. That's what you have to do in the postseason. Is that encouraging to you? I think so. At the end of the day, the games are 40 minutes. Um, there's going to be runs both ways. You know, that's the way that it is, and that's basketball. And I prefer to start better. You know, I prefer to play from the lead. I prefer to, you know, execute on both ends of the floor. But I feel like we will. I mean, whether it's a trend or, or, or not, um, again, I thought our guys' mindset was really good in, in practice today. And, you know, I, I don't know that that's – this is a position for us right now, playing meaningful games in February. That's new. You know, it's new. It's new for some of these guys. It's the first time they've ever been through a season that's this long. And, and you know, you're, you're, you're kind of the hunted now, right? You're, you're towards the top uh, um, of the standings. And, but like we told our guys the other day, you know, a, a lion, right? He might be king of the jungle, but what does a lion do when he wakes up every day? He hunts. Do you know what I mean? And the second that you back up and, and, and you're not hunting, you know, you're not hunting and continue to get after it, things happen. And this is a competitive deal. Um, I love our guys. And, you know, hopefully I, I feel really good about finding a way to get a win today and, um, and at least enjoy it here tonight. And then we know what's uh, in store for us Tuesday. I think you'd probably rather get them at home. But number four is San Diego State on Tuesday night. Is this a kind of a perfect test right before you have to go and, you know, play some important red games or neutral games? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, um, I like them back. I mean, I know we, we didn't go to the AHAS last year. Uh, I love playing there. I think it's great. It's a great college basketball environment. Uh, we've played in a few others this year, you know, namely our first road game of the year. You know, we played at Duke. I would anticipate uh, a similar environment. It's their senior night. I mean, you got all of it, right? Going against a sellout arena, their senior night. I don't know. I think they play tonight. Obviously, if they're fortunate enough to win tonight, they'll be undefeated. Awesome. Who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want to have an opportunity to go in there and, and, and compete? But clearly, at somebody, if you want to win the conference tournament, somebody's going to have to get through San Diego State, you know, to do it. And so we get a crack at them here on Tuesday.